Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another ToyHacks.com sponsored review. But before we get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please hit that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Now, on to the decals. And the set we're looking at in this video is the brand new decal set for Transformers War for Cybertron Earthrise, Lord Zarek. Now, this decal set includes three decal sheets. You've got one here of red decals that look to be visors. You get the main decal sheet right here, which is all the extra details and another decal sheet right here that looks like accents. So now, without further ado, let's take a look at the mighty Lord Zarek, both before and after Toy Hacks decals. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. <laughs> In robot mode, straight out of the packaging, Scorpinox Titan Master, who I'm going to call Councilman Zarek due to the fact that Lord Zarek was a councilman in the Marvel Comics series, doesn't look that bad. He's got some great sculpted details. You can make out a nice face right there on the figure. You've got the arms molded in, some paint applications right there for a red visor. So all in all, not too bad for such a tiny little figure. Of course, the back of the figure has Lord Zarek's face that we'll go over momentarily. And unfortunately, he's got that big old screw hole right there. But all in all, not a bad looking Titan Master. So there is one final look at Councilman Zarek before. And after. Councilman Zarek here gets a nice little upgrade thanks to Toy Hacks. The first thing you're probably noticing is the blue decal right there dead center in his chest. It's blue in the center with gold trim. You do get a few different options for the chest. You get a silver decal with silver Decepticon logo, silver with purple Decepticon logo, and one like I have, the blue with the gold trim with a purple Decepticon logo. Now, I went with the plain because fortunately, Toy Hacks also gives decals that cover up that unsightly screw. And I chose one with a Decepticon logo, and I think that looks so much better. On the side of the arms for the figure, you also get decals. I picked thrusters, which kind of is a Generation 1 throwback. You also have, if I can find them, right there you could add claws. So you can make this little Titan Master look like it had claws, just like the giant Scorponok figure. Also, you got green decals down here on the calves. Now we'll go ahead and take a look at Councilman Zarek in head mode. Some nice details right here. You got a crest right there in the center of the forehead and some purple decals up there on top to really make the head stand out a little bit more and give Lord Zarek a nice regal look. So there you go, guys. One final look at Councilman Zarek after. In robot mode, straight out of the packaging, Lord Zarek doesn't look bad at all. He is a great homage to the original Generation 1 figure, though he could use some paint applications. But the paint applications he has looks fantastic. The chrome face and those red eyes look great. That is one of the better face sculpts that I've seen on one of our modern figures for quite some time. Lots of great molded details there on the chest, down there on the abs. The arms have great molded details. Moving on down to the legs, you can make out details right there on the thighs and the shins and feet. On the side of the figure, of course, you've got paint applications, and that is for the scorpion mode eyes. Lots of details here on the pinchers, which are now arm guards. And on the back of the figure, of course, that's Scorpinox's main robot face. So all in all, a great looking figure just really needs a little something more. So there is one final look at Lord Zarek in robot mode before. 
and after. Lord Zarek's robot mode absolutely pops now thanks to Toy Hacks. The first decals you're probably noticing is the brand new decals right there for the chest. That looks awesome. There are a few different options. I chose the chrome, which I think really stands out. You also have decals that are green, gold, and purple, which is a throwback to his Generation 1 cartoon appearance when he was the leader of the Hive. You also have more of a flesh color option, which is a throwback to the Generation 1 toy. I went with the silver, as you can see, and I love how that looks. He also gets new decals right there on his abs to really make those pop. And once again, you have the option of more of a flesh collar, or actually that is a white decal. So you could have white around the abs instead of the black. Once again, I went with the black because I think that looks amazing. He also gets new decals up here on the shoulders. There are options for that as well. You got these black and orange decals or green decals right there. I went with the black and blue and the one with a silver Decepticon logo. Down here on the waist, he gets a purple belt buckle. On the forearms, you got circuitry details. Here on the pinchers or the arm shields now, you get new chrome decals right there on top and little black triangles there. Moving down to the legs, you get new decals on the thighs and little decals right there on the upper leg. Moving down to the shins, you get these piston decals, which I think are really cool looking, and accents there on the feet. Inside the legs, you get circuitry details. And here on the side, we'll go over that more in head mode. Also in robot mode, you get red decals right there on what is either the thrusters or blasters. I really like how that looks. Also, you got the head decals and there's an optional decal right here. I went with the one that looks like the tech readout from the old generation one headmasters or you have a purple and gold. So all in all, I think Lord Zarek just looks amazing now in robot mode and I couldn't be happier. So there you go, guys. One final look at Lord Zarek in robot mode after. In head mode, straight out of the packaging, Lord Zarek looks amazing. The molded details on this head are just mind-blowing. Check that out. All the way around, tons of molded details that just look fantastic. Very robotic. I love the face. The nose, the lips, the creases there along the face. I dig it. He looks very Generation 1, lots of details up here on the forehead. Great detailing there in the antennas. Now, of course, if you flip Scorponox visor up, you do have these really cool green eyes underneath. So a very unique look for Scorponox. Make sure and get that back into place good. But all in all, a fantastic looking head mode. Now, when Scorponox is in Scorpion mode, the head mode is on its side like so and this is the face of the scorpion you've got the painted details up here which now look like eyes and of course the antenna are now mandibles not much here at all for the mouth these could be laser cannons right there but still not too bad i could see that as some sort of insectoid head so there you go guys one final look at lord zarek in head mode before. Now before you begin to apply Scorponox visor decals, I want to give you guys a quick heads up, pun intended. You have to remove this section off of the main figure. So what you're going to do is lift this section up to where it's just like this. Then underneath you've got this little purple arm which is holding on this gray section with the visor. That's attached via a friction joint. So you can just Pop that right off. There's no pins at all. And now you're going to take a small Phillips head screwdriver and remove the visor. And there you go. Scorponox visor is all ready for toy hacksing. Make sure you don't lose that little screw. And after. 
Lord Zarek's head mode also benefits thanks to Toy Hacks. Taking a closer look at the head, you'll see this brand new visor that goes all the way around. There is a couple different options for this. I chose the compound eye look. You also have a, it looks like a broken visor, and that is to represent Marvel G1. So I decided to go with the compound eye look for reasons you'll see here in a moment. He also gets a new decal right there for inside the mouth to make that stand out just a little bit more. On the antennas, as you saw in robot mode, he's got the chrome decals here with the little black triangles. On the side, you've got little red decals right there to accent those ports. And that's pretty much it for the Titan Master, or excuse me, the Titan head mode. Now, to take a look at Scorbinok in his beast mode, we'll flip this down, and now we have compound eyes for the Scorpion. And I think that looks really, really cool. There's also new purple decals that go all the way around to give him an accent look they're on top of the head. Also, you get these little red decals right there in what I thought were gun ports. And what's really cool, decals right there that look like teeth or grinders. So you can see the scorpion grabbing an Autobot and he's just grinding him up. You also get new decals right there to kind of break up all that purple. So I really like that. That is really cool. I like the way the light catches those compound eyes. Now also, almost forgot, there is a decal, open this up, on the inside of Scorpinox visor. If you can see that, it's kind of a readout. So a little nice hidden decal for you to appreciate. So there you go, guys. One final look at Scorpinox, or Lord Zarek, in head mode after. Toy Hacks once again absolutely knocked it out of the park with their decal set for the Transformers War for Cybertron Earthrise Lord Zarek figure. Plus, this decal set has a special place in my heart because I had some input in its design. So, yay, I helped. This decal set really adds to the look of the character. I now may have to keep Scorpionok in city mode just so I can show off Lord Zarek with his new decals. Now, you may be asking yourself why I didn't show off the new Zarek with Scorpionok, but I've got those decals on the way, and we'll save that look for when I get Scorpionok all toy hacked up. Now, guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Once again, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hoo-ah!